Hey there, Gemini. This is Kim with your reading for today. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining me. The song that came on right before this reading was uh, Escapism. You're asking me my symptoms, doctor. I don't want to feel. I don't want to feel like I did that night. No, I don't want to feel how I did inside. Doctor, doctor, anything please. Doctor, doctor, have mercy on me. You're asking me my symptoms, doctor. I don't want to feel. So. <laughs> I don't want to feel. I don't want to feel. Hmm. That's a feeling. <laughs> I don't want to feel. Definitely a feeling. It's a strong one, right? All right. This um, is Thogaz. Transformation. Polarity. Reversal. Yin the Yang. Counterbalance. Enlightenment. Change. Says reversing energy. Balancing forces. Bring about change. Self-transformation. Oh, uh, it sounds like the inner work, the alchemical wedding, is what it's sounding like to me about bringing about change by joining the masculine and feminine energies within ourselves, which in a very easy, brief way to explain would be there's passive and there's action. And <clears throat> what is passive is what we're, it's what receives. Um, what is action, it's... It's Mars, it's energy, it's in motion. So it's dealing with the emotions due to this counter, yeah, counterbalance of masculine and feminine. That makes sense. The key phrase is as different as night and day. Oh. I wonder if that's how somebody is going to describe you, talk about you. In a good way, or maybe that's how you're going to see yourself as, as different as night and day. Hmm. Well, if you're talking about the song, then you're going from a very heavy emotion to trying to achieve not feeling anything at all. You're, you're actually balancing it out. It's just... <laughs> That's probably that way. I'm not saying that's what you're doing either. It's just that that's the song that came through. Oh, so there's just probably more healthier ways than others to get that balance, that same balance. There's nothingness. Well, I guess that's what you would be trying to get into. Maybe you're doing that. Maybe it's something about that. Okay, dawning of a new day. The caterpillar becomes the butterfly. Yeah, see, self transformation, growth. Major life changes, it says. Major life changes. It even looks like a, a butterfly. <clears throat> hey, mess messages do you have for Gemini? Gemini, I open up. I'm sorry, I'm Kim. I open up to your spirit team and uh, all of our angels. Our great angels here. Uh... If you want a private reading, those are $22 to $60. Three different prices in the description box below. And thank you for liking. Thank you for comments. I really appreciate them. That's the, my most favorite part of the day. And for subscribing and coming back to this channel, which was created for you. All right. Gemini. Transforming like night and day. Maybe we're feeling a lot of extremes to that could be it oh wow well i mean you have a lot of colors to shine you have a lot of things to be proud of is what they're saying with this card because mainly that you're able to see this big picture um that energy is speaking to me of somebody that knows that you can learn from each and every little thing on your path while seeing the importance of pioneering your own path in whatever area you want to really focus on so that you can have a new experience, I think, but one that's not programmed, you know. Yeah, new experience, there you go. 
to the new experience. That is the new experience. The uh, Great Serpent is the death rebirth cycle. It talks about a new cycle coming into your life. I don't know for some of you all that look at your numerology. It could be um, a period of years for some that this is a cycle wrapping up. Things seem to happen in seven year increments, but I'm sure there's other pinnacles in between. Okay, so there's that. This is just, this is such a, it's a high, it's a very high perspective. The uh, peacock's tail is a high perspective. And you have some kind of energy really rising in you with this. This is, I would say, a very good card. So you have a representation of the feminine, masculine energy coming back, going, you know, running the course, the energy course. And then running back around and coming back around for what? For a brand new experience, something pure and innocent with the white rose. There's a gold ball in the middle. You already know something good is there in the middle, but there's also things that the leaves naturally are covering and hiding and disclosing like a sweet secret. And... And so that is a new experience, this energy. It's going to be pushing you into this next cycle. So Saturn is, it's a big card. It could be a big card about time, about restriction, consequences, finances. It can be a, it can be a big card to deal with. <laughs> that would be about, it could be about wanting to escape that energy. In particular, it's pretty heavy. Um... If it doesn't feel good, then maybe that's a, in a sign that this struggle shouldn't e exist either much longer or, or should not be here. Something needs to change with it or you are conquering the elements of time, karma, and all of those things. There definitely could be some delays, though, because I, well, with the Knight of Pentacles and the way it was shaped, is it could have... Well, the way that it came out shaped. <laughs> the way that it came out. Could have been a delay. This is the circle of life. Oh, wow. This is the page of pentacle now. A message, a key, somebody holding information, or the message, a key. An investment, a seed to plant that's going to be um, prosperous. Why did it fall? Oh, well, that's nice. And that's nice. So I have the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. Those are good cards to get uh, because this would tell me that Spirit has some type of plan for you. Um, the steps, enlightenment, awakening. It's a, it's a lot of things. Uh, it could be like a rebirth or resurrection for you. Look at the Oral Boro twice. Did you see that? They look very similar. The Ouroboro representing the, that death rebirth cycle. Oh, wow. Wheel of Fortune. Something is fated to go good for you. That's the message I'm supposed to pass on. Yeah, something is going to go good for you. This is the justice energy that popped out. <laughs> Things are balancing out for you. Especially in the realm of karma. For others. For yourself. You'll see it all. We're here to see it all. You'll see it all. There's no wishing or ill intent on anybody. There's just a this is how the universe works. Like that. That's what I'm getting off of that. And that something has to be balanced. Yeah, because you've been in this energy here of the Four of Cups. Which is um, something just not 
satisfying you in your current environment. You're so over it that we become withdrawn. We just want to do our own thing. So it seems like this is what gave birth to this energy. And because of the inner work, self-care and transformation that was done on the inside, it gave birth to the red and white rose. Transformation is uncomfortable, I'm sure. Can you imagine being a caterpillar and like everything just dissolves like oh god but you're still conscious of it uh-uh i don't know <laughs> it's uncomfortable yes change is uncomfortable there's your um judgment card really wants to come out i guess i must put it there with the wheel of fortune right because they have a plan there's this energy being birthed to life that I was talking about. The Ace of Wands. Wow, okay. The Ace of Wands. See, it's something that has been... Um, this was the stage, the Four of Cups was the stage where this was being ready to give birth in your body. A surge of energy. The Alchemical Wedding. New passionate beginnings being announced to you. Which way to go? Wow. And you notice this? 10, 10, 10, if you think about it. Major completions because there's so many at one time. That might be why it's so, something might be a little uncomfortable. You have the lover's energy. That's a new energy, I feel like. Temperance. Your angels bringing this together. Your angels bringing together what you said in prayer or meditation or just through intention. And this is the reason this manifested, this great thing manifested from this place was because of you being completely in your own authenticity, true to yourself. So when the good, so what I mean by that is when the good stuff starts rolling in, and then all of a sudden you're feeling more positive to say more positive affirmations and things like that. Although those are great, like I'm not going to discourage that, but know that it was your authenticity that manifested the great thing. You being true to yourself, true to every feeling, and even feeling them and being willing to feel them that manifested it and so because sometimes we can get on a trap where we feel like what was that dark night of the soul that depressive time all about and then we think that the the trick was the start of when this energy comes in we think we, maybe we did it with our positive affirmations but it's it's more about being true to yourself that brought that good energy about and so when we try to do things that we think was the reason it came about and we fail then we get really hard on ourselves and we're like but i'm so positive <laughs> and it's because it wasn't that that brought it um, i know that's it's probably a different i have a different view on, on manifesting and, and i feel like this being true to yourself got you more in alignment with this good energy to come even if you are the i don't want to hang out with you all boo debbie downer sometimes okay well, even if that was that was you, it's okay because that's your that was who you were authentically being at that time, and it served you well, is what I'm getting. Uh, and this uh, lover's energy is a new. I think it's a new soul. It's a soulmate. It's a soulmate, but it's also representing a crossroads where you're gonna have the option to leave something behind, emotionally disconnect from something that's very dissatisfying at this point. That's that's why this card came out. And you have the strength card. Wow. So strength and power and confidence. Uh, you can grapple with that lion at this point. It's good to be strong. Know you're strong and say things that are true to yourself. The 
So this looks extremely good, guys. I don't know if I can really add much of anything else except these thoughts are useless here. <laughs> when it comes to being productive, the eight of eight of swords is a you see how the swords are broken? I love this card because you see how the swords are broken? He's been trying to chip away at an issue or a problem in their mind. And when they do that, each of these swords get broken because they're wasted thoughts. <laughs> they're wasted thoughts. That's not it's not productive thinking, it's anxiety. It's a <laughs> it's futile is what it feels like. It's futile. That energy. All right, let's pull from the um Ooh, today is the day. Well, there's the I'm a catch wanting to pop out the top, so I'll pull it out for you. And it's a butterfly. It says, I'm a catch, I'm a total catch, and I know the reasons why. I know that anyone would be lucky to be with me, and that doesn't mean I'm arrogant or snobby. Self-respect is just one of the many qualities exhibited by this complete and utter babe. <laughs> yeah, that power... That power of with yourself that comes with self, uh, spiritual self discipline, taking care, care of yourself, self love that you put into yourself is very powerful but and magnetic and attractive. It's uh, because it comes with the energy of no doubt. There's no doubt. There are situations where it's great to doubt. Maybe that's what we we're doing here with maybe certain things are good to doubt, but the, the doubt in your own strength should not be there. Simply because it wouldn't serve you. Look, today is the day came out. Wow, I guess I'm going to just read those. Yeah, confidence right there on the bottom. Have confidence. Have confidence. Some things are okay to doubt and be skeptical about, but when it comes to yourself and your strength and your confidence, don't doubt that. All right. 28 offering to Gaia. The ancients always give offerings to Gaia. If you're wondering what you can give, know that an offering to Gaia could simply be to ponder the love of God daily. That's a cryon card. And then the card that I really wanted to come out, Inner Child Oracle. Um, it says today is the day. Something you've been putting off and now is the time to do it. It may seem overwhelming, but beyond the horizon, wait something more wonderful than you can know in these present moments. Do not be afraid. No one is ever truly ready at their first steps. It is not perfection that we seek, but a life lived fully. Um, yeah, I love that. Okay, some oracle. And why? Because I'm getting this question again in my head about my comment. Why would being more authentic to yourself work more than a, than a false or untrue positive affirmation? If you think about it, it's because the frequency, the vibration is higher when you're actually in alignment with yourself, no matter what you're feeling. Alignment, it's almost like alignment and balance trumps a lot. Especially, yeah, anyways, I'm, don't go on. <laughs> I ramble. Change, a change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless in need of change, and that is exactly what's coming your way. Courage, young heart. Courage. Stand tall. Don't let the love decrease. You're a warrior of peace. Oh, I about passed up the portal. <laughs> that might be a sign. Look at this. It even says, okay, it says portals, and the lover's energy looks like a portal. See? With the, uh, portals. Where do we play in nature? That's where the garden gate will take you there. Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring in rewards, and a major purchase is worth making. The green fairy, a cheeky green fairy on your behalf, is appearing here to make you laugh. Okay, and... Childhood and crack shot. 
means you're really good at something. Two, union of opposites, conceal, event, mask, upstage, merge, transform, camouflage, hide, overshadow, loss of power, temporary block, support, sudden darkness, or reveal. Um, this is something good, though, I think. I have the wheel of karma. We have, th oh, wow, we have three wheels in your reading now. Karma, dharma, destined, inevitable, cause and effect, divine intervention, cycles, luck, fortune, rise and fall divine will. I think this worry is about placing your worry in a proper area and then letting it go. Mm. I think there's something to be said since it says worry beads about what could soothe you, what could calm you. The idea of the worry bead is to use your consciousness to transfer your anxiety and your worry into the representation of a physical object. I believe it probably works. Uh, there's something about uh, this soothing repetition, uh, almost like the rosary beads, too, if you think about it. Some type of soothing something that you can do for yourself. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> Calm. Calm thyself. My mom used to say that a lot. <laughs> Calm thyself. Symphony. Harmony, synergy, co-create, assemble. Organize, structure, contribute, team, collaborate, precise, arrangement, order, lead, follow, cohesion. Broken vase in the reverse. Don't worry because you overcome whatever it is that you're needing to overcome at this time. You may have had a temporary setback and that's about to be released. This is like a, a block. It's being released. It could be an abundance block, financial block, uh, whatever it is. Like It's becoming conscious of what the block is, overcoming it, releasing Accepting the anxiety, but then placing it somewhere different so that you're not uh, dealing with thoughts that are not going to be productive, like, like that card suggests. Bonfire, enthusiasm, energy, heated, intense, joy, ignite, passion, ecstasy, exhilaration, spark, community, it even says orgasm, and fanaticism, fever, fears. Uh, kerosene here is talking about this could light up quicker than you think. Especially when you have the bonfire and kerosene. Let's get an angel number message. I keep saying I'm going to wrap this up. Eight and five. You have two eights in the middle there. And you have other eights in your reading. I just lost count on them. <clears throat> the ten. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry it out because you are ingenious, number 10. And here's um, a multiple of 10, 20, 10, 20. You relate to others on almost a cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others your point of view by using gentle means and harmonious. Okay, that one wants to come out, and this one. Hmm. Okay, so 111 angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so you can co-create with the universe something that you love three could be about that emperor's kind of energy it does so it's talking about how you express yourself your colors your pride in that expression comes naturally to you you are skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits and your angels here too with the threes uh, three ones. I am charismatic. And 19 says independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and work. You aren't take, you aren't afraid to take the big risk. Like I said in the very beginning, you are a pioneer. You're here to pioneer your experience so that you can enjoy it more because it would be something new to you. 
16 this card it feels like it's in, you're in the middle of a transformation and that's why maybe near the end of something not an end though really right and that could lead to a new chapter where there's other things to improve on or plateau on who knows it's your experience 16 you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths you have a special ability to read into other people's feelings okay hmm well that could get overwhelming i think a wisdom seeker and your angels ask that you share your knowledge for the benefit of others so if you're being guided somehow to share your knowledge with others then that might be also a confirmation for you I am perceptive, so it's important that your perception secrets are being shared in a way. It can really help somebody experience life in a totally different way. And that can improve things on a big level, butterfly effect. Wow. Yeah, okay, 12, it says, Ascension number 12. Maha Paranirvana Plane. Guide humanity towards a multi-star system. Guide humanity towards a multi-star system. <clears throat> Telepathy, thought reading, extrasensory perception, ESP. <laughs> Mind reading. Telepathy. Clicking in with another soul. Probably, I don't know, I have theories that it, you can absolutely not prove at all. <laughs> I should just keep my mouth shut on that then. I'll keep my mouth shut on that until more studies are out, I guess. So, astrology, ancestral knowledge, and energy healer, Reiki, chakra healer, crystal healer, healing touch, etc. Yeah, I've had, um, I have had a, a rose quartz like right next to my heart space for the last two days. It's really helped my mood. I don't know. It might be psychological but if it is then it works so and then the green fairy did i read the green fairy a cheeky green fairy on your behalf is appearing here to make you laugh that's where we'll end it then so i'm sending you love and light bye gemini's